Hello everyone, in this lecture we are taking another 1D problem of uh, the dynamic programming that is the number of uh, binary search trees. So once again we will be first finding out the recursive solution and then we will be converting that uh, to the dynamic programming solution with the help of the memory table. So uh, in this problem what is being actually asked that let's say we have three numbers 1, 2 and 3. So what are the total number of binary search trees will be possible with these numbers? Okay. So how do we find that actually? Let's say we have these three numbers, then we can take uh, one as a root and then whatever number is left towards the left, that in this case it is zero numbers and then the these two numbers, two, three. So let's say we have taken this one as a root and then we can form the binary search tree like this. Or the another one would be 1, the root is same 1, then 3 and then 2. So these are the only two tree, trees possible if you are taking this 1 as a root. Now if you are taking 2 as a root, we can take 1 on the left and 3 on the right. Only one tree possible. If you are taking 3 as a root, then 1 and 2 will be on the left hand side. So 2 can be taken here and 1 here. And then another one would be like this one. So total number of binary search tree possible with these three keys are five. And how we are finding that or the, what the process is that we are taking one number as a root, finding out the total number of trees, then we are taking second number as a root and then we are finding total number of trees possible. Then we are taking three third number as a root and then we are finding the binary search trees. So <coughs> Can we say that, here in this case, that if you have to find out the BST3, it means the total number of trees possible with the three keys. If we are taking this first key as the root, number of elements which are remaining on the left are zero. So the total number of trees possible on the, on the left hand side. And then, sorry, the total number of uh, trees possible with the keys on the left hand side. We are remaining with two keys on the right hand side. Can we say that if you have selected first number as a root, the total number of trees possible on the right hand side would be with the two keys and let us multiply these two. Okay. Now let's say we are taking second number as a root node, second key as a root node. So the number of elements on the left hand side of this will be 1. So we are finding the total number of binary search tree with one node. And on the right hand side also we have one key. So we'll be finding out the total number of tree possible with the one key. And we'll multiply these two. So this becomes the total number of trees possible with two as a root. Or the second key as a root. And then if we are taking up the third number of key as a root node. Then number of elements on the left hand side would be two. That means BST2 is the total number of trees possible with the two nodes which is multiplied with the total number of keys on the right hand side of this tree. So there is no key, so that will be BST0. Okay, and if we sum all these three, this one with this one and this one, this will be total number of trees possible with the three keys. Okay, so the definition of the binary tree says that uh, a tree can be null also. It means the null tree is allowed. That means if you have the zero number of the keys, that is counted as single tree. Okay, so the value of BST0 can be taken as 1. So BST0 is 1. And obviously, if you have the single key, the number of tree possible with the single key will also be 1. Okay, with a single key, that is, it means there is only one, one node, uh, tree possible. What about BST2? So for BST2, let's do it by this method only, the, for the BST2. BST2 means we have the keys 1 and 2. If 1 is taken as the root, there is no tree possible, sorry, there is there is zero number of keys on the left. Only one possibility is this one. Okay? If you take second number of key as a root node, then only one tree possible will be on the left hand side with the key 1 and there is no node on the right hand side. So two trees are possible. Okay? Now, what we have done here, that we have taken the first key as a root, that means on the left hand side we will be remaining with zero number of nodes. On the right hand side we have one node. 
So the tree is possible with the zero node and tree possible with the one node it multiplied. And then if you're selecting the second node as a key, as a root node, on the left hand side we remain with one node, that means we'll find out the number of tree possible with one node. And on the right hand side we have only zero keys, no keys in, in fact. So the total tree possible will be BS to zero. Let us multiply these two. And then we will add these two. Okay, so the BST0, we have already found this is 1, BST1 is 1, BST1 is 1, and BST0 is 1. So 1 into 1, 1 into 1, added together, this becomes 2. So total number of trees possible with the two keys is 2. Putting all these values here, when we have where we have found the number of bin binary search tree with three nodes, three keys actually. So BST0 is 1, BST2 is 2. BST1 is 1, BST1 is 1, BST2 is 2, BST0 is 1. So 1 into 2, 2 plus 1 into 1, 1 plus 1 into 2 into 1, 2. So this is total number of trees possible are 5. Okay. So here what we are doing that, we are, we are changing the root nodes. Okay. We are iterating the root node and then we are finding out how many trees are possible with, the, with that particular uh, root node. So can we say that the BST n is equals to if you are taking ith node as a root node then the number of keys remaining on the left hand side would be i minus 1 and the number of keys remaining on the right hand side would be n minus i. How so? Let's say we have taken this first key as a root node here. So i is 1. So number of trees on the left hand side would be, number of keys on the left hand side would be 0, i minus 1. And on the right hand side there are 2, that means 3 minus 1. So <coughs> number of trees on the left hand side i minus 1. And number of keys on the right hand side n minus i. Let us multiply these two. And this i will be iterated starting from the first key to the end key and we will sum all these so every key is selected as a as a root node sometime or the other so for i equals to 1 to n bst i minus 1 multiplied with bst n minus i where i is iterating okay now we are writing the recursive solution we have already found the base conditions here so we have to find out the BST n. This will return an integer data item. The base condition, if n is 0, then we will return 1. One key, one tree is possible. Else, if n is 1, in that case also, I return 1. With one node, one tray is possible. Else, means neither n is 0 nor n is 1. <laughs> In that case, we will be iterating the root node and we will be finding the total number of trees. Okay, so uh, for iterating the i, we will take the loop for i equals to 1. i less than or equal to n and i plus plus find out bst i minus 1 find out bst n minus i multiply these two okay and then we'll be adding every time we are finding total number of trees we are adding with the other one the previous one so for that case you need to take a sum as 0 Okay, sum is 0. And then sum plus equals to, means sum equals to sum plus this one. Finally, if we have found all these values, at the end, we'll be returning the sum. Because sum is telling us how many total trees are possible. Okay, so we are changing the root node and then we are finding out the total number of trees possible. 
we are adding it with the previous uh, sorry the number of trees possible with the previous root node so once we have iterated with all the root nodes this will actually be returned once again <coughs> here we are making the redundant calls okay here bst0 is called here also bst0 is called here bst1 is called here bst1 is called here bst2 is called bst2 is called here also so here also we can save uh, some time by memorization concept that means let's take a table memory table okay let's take the memory table let us set up all these values as zero this is the memory table and at every index we have set the value zero that means we have not found the value of this table value in at the different index at this table so what if what will be done here that if n is zero instead of uh, returning 1 here we will be setting this m0 as 1 and then if n is 1 instead of returning 1 here we will be setting up m1 as 1 fine now if uh, n is neither 0 nor 1 then we need to check here if mn is equals to 0 then then only do this operation <coughs> and once we have found this total number of trees store mn equals to sum since you have already found these values set the value at nth index in the memory table as the sum and finally do not return sum return mn Fine. So by this way, we can find out the total number of binary search tree possible with the end nodes. Thank you.